I'm Fabian Tan. I'm a consultant in the Singapore office and I'm part of our corporate offices practice for Asia Pacific. Due to the huge supply chain disruption and the resulting cost implications and customer impact, the profile of the chief supply chain officer has been elevated significantly. They have greater influence over not just the executive management team, but also a broader set of stakeholders, wider ecosystems of suppliers and deeper channel partnerships. The second is the increased focus on customer centricity. Customers are expecting items to be delivered faster with more transparency and also higher quality service. Therefore, supply chain leaders are being challenged to leverage technology, drive operational excellence, and infuse customer feedback from an outside-in perspective into everything they do in the supply chain organization, from planning to sourcing to making and delivering for both internal stakeholders as well as external customers. For a start, the rise of digital transformation has led to changing business models in many different sectors. There's also a transition to digital manufacturing, which has substantial benefits in predictive maintenance, better integration with external suppliers, proactive supply chain management, and cost savings. With that, supply chain leaders need to integrate larger volumes of data from different avenues. There's also new entrants that are disrupting the traditional supply chain practices. There are platforms with no assets but are able to provide supply chain management and logistic services, including order management, delivery, trade financing, insurance, and freight forwarding. Second challenge, not surprisingly, is sustainability. Companies have come to the realization that supply chains are major contributors to their environmental footprint and social impact, as measured against ESG frameworks. Consumers are expecting greater transparency. Regulators are requesting for compliance and reporting. Overlaying these demanding yet at times competing priorities, the other key challenge for supply chain leaders is to cut through the noise, deploy the right resources on pertinent issues while balancing long-term and short-term objectives. The best supply chain leaders have the unique attribute of foresight, the ability to read the signals, look around the corners, assess the risks and plan ahead. This has helped them in navigating issues like just-in-time versus just-in-case models, using electric vehicle trucks for transportation, reshoring, friendshoring, nearshoring considerations in light of the increasingly delicate political and macroeconomic dynamics. The second leadership trait we assess closely is the ability to build talent and teams. Finding out where your gaps are in the value chain, hiring the right talent to bring in new perspective and augment the team can be a game changer. Be a digital innovation catalyst. Dedicate time to understand digitalization and new technologies such as AI, machine learning, RPA, and data analytics, which will allow your teams to automate many routine tasks and in turn freeing up time for value-added strategic activities. Secondly, gain exposure to as many parts of the value chain as possible, from planning, procurement, manufacturing and operations, distribution, logistics and transportation. That will help you gain a comprehensive understanding of each function and will better prepare you to tackle problems in each of them when you are the leader of the entire value chain.